Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another stock evaluation video. But it's actually a really interesting one because we just had major news to a company that honestly, I'm actually really excited for it to fall a decent amount, assuming that this is actually a problem, which it honestly is. But what I'm saying is that it could be an even worse problem. So we're going to talk about what happened today with this certain company. And uh, then we're going to do this kind of free cash flow approach because I want to see at what point should we actually consider buying this company based off, of course, my own analysis. So before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. As well as remember, make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And if you like to join us on Discord, which is the best place to get these videos, live streams, and even shorts, the link to that is in the description below. So with that said, let's get started with this analysis okay everybody so the company that i'm talking about it is none other than mcdonald's ironically enough mcdonald's just man this week mcdonald's has been on the news a whole lot and uh, unfortunately this one is not as much good news because we can see here that mcdonald's share price plummets in quarter pounder linked to e coli and this was just today guys seriously this was just today this was just released on well, 4.37 p.m., so post-market on October 22nd, 2024, and the stock has uh, taken a beating. We can see our McDonald's shares were losing ground on Tuesday after hours trading after the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, issued a warning about the outbreak of E. coli in Colorado and Nebraska linked to the hamburger chain's quarter pounder. According to early reports, 10 people have already been hospitalized and one older person has died. I'm terribly sorry for that one. I mean... Obviously, we don't want anything, anybody to get hurt or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, this is a major, major issue when it's coming to this. McDonald's is collaborating with the CDC, U.S. Food Drug Administration, and U.S. Department of Agriculture and Food Safety Inspection Services to determine what food ingredient in the quarter pounder is making customers ill. There should only be one ingredient. The fact that they're figuring out which ingredient is kind of, kind of, a, eh, kind of sus, right? And then the company told the CDC that stopped using fresh silvered onions and quarter pound beef patties in several states to help identify the containment ingredients both of which are only used in the quarter pounder. M MCD shares dropped by as much as 10% on the news, while competitors Burger King, Wendy's, and Shake Shack have been have seen share prices spike higher in concert. So we are kind of seeing this massive sell-off, and they're basically putting all their other money, investors are putting their money in similar companies like Burger King, Wendy's and uh, Shake Shack. So it's not really surprising. Obviously, we do see that. Though, honestly, it um, you would actually argue that you would see a fall off across the board when it comes to this because, I don't know, we kind of see the same thing with Nike and then Nike affecting all other shoe brands. But, you know, it's just not the case with this one. So that's, of course, the major news when it comes to McDonald's. However, we do have earnings for them next week on the 29th. So October 29th. And we can see that, uh, oh boy. This is, uh, this is not good in the slightest. 28 revisions, all of them to the downside. Not a single one to the upside. So this is what you would call a skewed uh, earnings estimate, right? <laughs> Announcement date, as you guys can see, it is on the 29th. EPS normalized estimate of $3.20. EPS gap estimate of $3.19. And revenue of $6.81 billion. And again, all of them to the downside. And we can see that the stock... Well, it has rebounded from that minus 10. We can see that it is currently down, guys, 5.8% to a price of $296.44. Guys, this stock has just been absolutely bonkers. We are near 52-week high when it comes to this company at $317.90, as y'all can see right over here, right? Right over here, and a low of $243.53. On the one year, they are up 23.53%, and the year to date, they're up 6.13%. Now, Looking at this a little bit further, we can see that on the five-year, guys, this is a company that honestly is an American staple, right? McDonald's, like, right? It's the whole America, Coca-Cola and McDonald's, Walmart. Those are just like American staples when it comes to consumerism. And um, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue moving forward. And I personally think that if this does continue to fall, I think it's just a great buying opportunity at that point. 
And because of this, I want to take a look at the company's fundamentals and, of course, do a discount of free cash flow. We got the ticker for MCD market cap of $225.74 billion with a PE of 27.54. So this PE is really interesting because it is high, but it's not amd high right share price of 314 dollars but we just saw that it is sub 200 or sub 300 sorry and they do pay the dividend of seven dollars and eight cents and if we take a look at this dividend it's currently sitting at 2.25 percent yield and with the current fall down to 296 dollars and 44 cents the yield has gone up to now 2.38 percent so not a lot right not a, a big difference anyways but it is still a a larger difference than what you were getting before, right? Payout ratio of 55.29%, a five-year CAGR of 7.56%, 22 consecutive years of dividend payment, which is actually surprising. You would think that McDonald's would be like at least an investor cap, but they're not. Ex dividend day is actually coming up on December 2nd, which actually does give you the opportunity to buy this company before the ex dividend date to get the payout date on December 16th, as you guys can see right here. And they do pay their dividends quarterly. And if we take a look back over here, we can see that based off the current shares outstanding and the seven dollars and eight cents they pay out 5.1 or roughly 5.1 billion dollars in dividends every single year take their 10-year average free cash flow, subtract this number you get 44.46 million dollars but take their last year's free cash flow, subtract that 5.1 billion they're left with a whopping 2.2 billion dollars these pair ratios are 70 percent on the dot for the last year's free cash flow and 99.13 percent for the 10-year average understand that yes while this is very high right you're getting closer it's the 10 year one i'm not really too like if the 10 year one is 99 point whatever or like 90 or whatever i don't really see as too big of an issue because now you're adding averages years outliers that don't necessarily have to be in there right the 70 percent one though for the last year free cash flow is a little bit concerning but it's like it's a restaurant i kind of expect it to be tight margins when it comes to that so let's just start the guy with the fundamentals started with a net income but 10 years ago of 4.75 billion dollars to one year ago of 8.5 billion dollars increase of 78 percent i do like the increase the downturn here was COVID, and then i'm assuming higher interest rates so all in all honestly i'm gonna have to give this a 90 percent i do like this a lot into the free cash flow guys every investment is the present value of all future cash flow so taking a look at this we can see that 10 years ago it is 4.15 billion dollars to one year ago of 7.25 billion dollars this is an increase of 75 percent with an average of 5.22 uh, basically 5.123 billion dollars with an average of 5.12 billion dollars we can see a little bit of choppiness especially seven years ago right drop from nine to seven and then increase and then choppy once again during COVID, and then well two years ago we see that fall again but it is still trending upwards all in all i'm gonna have to give this around like an 80 percent i'm gonna have to say into now the revenue the revenue is actually going down overall going from 27.4 billion dollars to one year ago of 25.5 billion dollars that's a decrease of 7.1 percent it is decreasing and it was decreasing into covid but then after covid started to increase again I gotta say, I do not like decreasing revenue. That is their top line. So for that, I'm gonna have to give this a 60%, I would say. I mean, it is still uptrending. So yeah, 60%. Assets as a reference only, and then liabilities as a reference only. We can see that the total assets minus total liabilities is in the negative. It's been consistently in the negative for several years now. It's because it's a restaurant. Usually most restaurants operate under a really, really tight margin. So this is very very notable if you look at any other restaurants you will see something similar and we can see that the average total assets of 44 billion dollars liabilities of 46.6 billion dollars and a difference of negative 2.5 billion dollars obviously i do not like this but it is an industry-wide thing so i'm gonna have to give this around like a 50 percent for the grade the cash flow minus the liabilities the liabilities are increasing the cash flow is increasing kind of but it's been kind of wonky throughout the past years as y'all just saw and we can see that it is a pretty drastic decrease from 10 to essentially four years ago and now it's starting to consolidate around this 51 52 billion dollar negative 52 negative 51 billion dollar mark the average being negative 40 billion dollars i'm gonna have to give this guys it sucks but i'm gonna have to give this like a 20 percent. i do not like this one bit now the shares outstanding are absolutely incredible you guys can see that this is 
an insane buyback in the past 10 years from 963 million shares, a million with an M, to now to the trailing 12 months of 717.3 million shares, a buyback of a little bit more than 25.5% love the buyback consistently buyback and even that during covid guys they did buy back not a lot but they did buy back more than what they have done before going from 746 down to 745 i do like it this is an easy easy 100 percent also helps that by them buying back shares it actually helps out paying that dividend believe it or not and lastly when it comes into the cash and the they currently hold 792 million dollars with an average of 2.9 billion dollars overall grade it's a 72 percent my main issue is definitely that revenue is definitely a caution one however everything else at least when it comes to the profit metrics we could see that 90 80 percent really good then the cash flow minus liabilities yeah their liabilities are pretty bad but it is very very um you know it, it's a restaurant thing so i I give it 20, but honestly, take that with a grain of salt. So let's take a look at now that it's kind of free cash flow. And um, right off the bat, guys, we could see $199.76 and adjusting for debt, $129.39. And um, that revenue is not a lot, right? 0.48% in the past 10 years. So, okay, let's input some numbers. Let's see. Let's put in half a percent for the lowest assumption. Let's say 1%. And then let's say 1.5% for the highest assumption for the revenue in the next 10 years. Now for the predicted share buyback, we can see that they have been buying back on average at around 3.1%. So I would just say one, two, and then 3%. Um, maybe even actually maybe two, three, four, right? Let's say two, three, and 4% just so that way we can actually uh, get that three percent since that's what they've been doing for the past well very consistently as well for the past several several years right for a decade right so with this we get 260 dollars and 59 cents to 363 dollars and 10 cents and then adjusting for debt 174 down all the way up to 257 dollars and 27 cents now the recovery rate of return i would just like to match the market seeing that this is mcdonald's i would just like to match the market at 10 percent and uh we get 91 dollars and 78 cents to 121 dollars and 59 cents and just for debt whoo five dollars and 66 to 15 dollars okay the reason for that is because of the fact that they have a ton of debt in comparison right so I would just mainly focus on this um, not adjusting for debt kind of metric. So basically, 121.59 would essentially be a good price. So with a current share price of 314 dollars and 69, unless it stays the same at around this price, and another option could just be that the share price stays the same and the fundamentals just keep getting better and better and better. So that's just where we're at right now when it comes to this. Again, not financial advice. Every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. And a lot of you might say, yeah, but the stock has gone up incredibly the past, you know, couple of years. Who's to say that this is right? Well, this is not telling you where the stock price is going. This is telling you what the company should be worth. The stock price could fluctuate in whatever way possible, right? Uh, that's not really a reason to buy the stock based off of valuation. I like to buy stocks based off of their valuation and not overpay for them. And by the looks of it, McDonald's right now is a little bit overvalued. And if we take a look at this dividend, we can see that this nets you around $139.83 with $6,215 invested. So all in all, guys, when it comes to McDonald's, we'll see how this E. coli thing actually affects the company as well as their earnings, which is next week. So, yeah, if the company continues to fall and if it falls sub 200, then then we're talking right now. We're talking in accordance, of course, to my own assessment. Again, not financial advice. Please do not follow what I'm doing because all those numbers that you saw are based off of my own assessment. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. As well, so make sure to follow us on Excel Field Investing. If you like to join us on Discord, which is the best way to get these videos, the link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.